In some ways, <laughs> this next piece is a little bit responsible for us all being here tonight because it's the first poem that I had published, and I had it published in Goblin Fruit back before I was an editor for it, because that wouldn't be ethical. <laughs> and that was how I met Amal. And in fact, that was also how I met Claire. We both met Amal because we were writers who contributed to Goblin Fruit. So that first publication really got all of this going way back when. <laughs> this is called To the Royal Society of Cryptozoologists from the Concerned Daughter of a Member. My father is a scientist, a traveler, a connoisseur, a collector of things long repressed. In fact, my father is obsessed. He led many expeditions by dirigible, invisible, up above the heavy clouds and rain. He went to lands no man has claimed. He spoke of creatures tentacled, elder beasts, things that feast upon the fragile souls of men. He said he had to leave again. Father, father, please come home. I can shoot and ride and label. I am quick and strong and able. I've organized all your climbing gear. But I haven't heard, I haven't heard. Not a single written word. Not a single written word. One last voyage, crossed his heart, then flew away, went astray. The year was 1884. He said he'd open up a door. I know his airship headed north. I know he's lost. I know the ice and frost have kept him far from home. He wouldn't leave me all alone. Learned sirs, you're my last hope. Lend me a ship full equipped and I will bring him home again. And he will tell us where he's been. Father, father, please come home. I've learned all the Latin words for insects, mammals, and for birds. I've cleaned all your microscopes, but I haven't heard. I haven't heard, not a single written word, not a single written word. <laughs>